to owning any animals, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm done with the, the harassment from the animal rights people. Uh, I've learned a lesson. And sitting, sitting in a jail cell, I kind of feel how they felt now, and, and I should have provided them with a lot more than I did. An interesting conversation with the former Tiger King, now an inmate in the Santa Rosa County Jail. Joseph Modenato, a.k.a. Joe Exotic, the former star of a Netflix hit series, taking to our Lacey Beasley today. Yeah, the former zoo owner and big cat lover was convicted of a murder for hire scheme. Now, Lacey, he had a lot to say. Yeah, he did, Ariel and Lee. Because of restrictions at the jail, we were not able to meet in person, though Joe Exotic unveiled a lot on that video chat. He was brought to Santa Rosa County last week for a civil lawsuit he filed involving copyright infringement for his country music. He's also on his appeal for some 2020 federal convictions involving that murder for hire and animals. In this interview, Joe tells me how life in prison has taught him a lesson about owning tigers. When you think you've seen it all, you haven't quite seen it all. I have a prepaid call from Joe Exotic. Many of you know him as the overnight sensation star of Netflix's Tiger King. Joseph Maldonado is better known as Joe Exotic. From the docu-series, he's now behind bars and has been incarcerated since before the show aired. He tells me there's some misconceptions to clear up. You, you know, I've never seen the show, okay, so I just have to go by what people have told me and, and the, some of the comments that I get on social media. And that is, I have never in my life, even now, been accused or charged of animal cruelty or animal abuse by any law enforcement agency other than PETA. Okay, I'm not in here for animal abuse. I'm in here for taking five, spe five endangered species without a permit. They claimed I should have had a permit to euthanize my five sick tigers. Back in 2020, Maldonado was sentenced to 22 years in federal prison after a jury convicted him of two counts of murder for hire, eight counts of violating the Lacey Act for falsifying wildlife records, and nine counts of violating the Endangered Species Act. That involves shooting and killing five tigers in 20 2017 without a veterinarian present. The murder for hire involves his longtime nemesis, Carol Baskin, another big cat lover. According to a U.S. attorney, Maldonado paid a hitman $3,000 to kill her with a promise to pay more after. Maldonado claims that is not true and he was framed. Though now, years after the show, he says he's let go of a lot of hatred. I don't even blame Carol. I don't even blame Carol. Uh, you know, me and Carol were at war for years, making money off of each other. I've forgiven everybody, even James and Jeff, because they need it. Could I walk away from here tomorrow and forget every one of them people? That's my goal. Tiger King is over. This is about Joe getting out of jail. They're never going to be movie stars, okay? It's, it's over. It's time to let it go. He's currently on his appeal for those convictions, and he tells me his case could be heard by the end of the year. What would you want to do if you get out? First thing I'm going to do is go to 7-Eleven and get a pack of Marble Lights. Okay. Second thing I'm going to do is go to Fort Smith, Arkansas, and hang on to Seth like he's never going anywhere again. Then I have been offered a world tour to do a concert. And then my long-term goal is, is to testify in front of Congress about prison and justice reform. Would you go would back to the big cat industry, go back to having big cats? I would not go back to owning any animals, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm done with the, the harassment from the animal rights people. Uh, I've learned a lesson. And sitting, sitting in a jail cell, I kind of feel how they felt now, and, and I should have provided them with a lot more than I did. You are known as Tiger King. Do you Correct. Are you still Tiger King even from behind bars? I will forever be the Tiger King. I don't belong here. And I hope that the world will help me get out. Now, there's a free Joe Exotic event in Pensacola on the 23rd at 9 a.m. More info will be on our website, fox10tv.com. And Joe tells me he has no intention of ever watching the show. And he says he's never made a penny from Netflix. Reporting live in studio, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.